Hello, everyone. How are you? I am good. It's a nice day today. <laughs> there might be a few more people hopping on. I'm going to try not to keep you long because I know it's so pretty outside and you're probably wanting to go home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. Did everybody get my repartnering email that I sent? Did it make sense? Do you have any questions about it? Okay, I know some people email me back and I will partner you in the morning and send those, em send those emails out in the morning. Um, let's see, I have some dates on here that I need to talk about. That's coming up if you are partnered with TNTP Math or Science. There's some trainings in the summer. We will post these dates on our calendar. Um, either I will do that tomorrow or Brittany. Um, if you're doing TNTP Science for the first time, there is an in-person training. And it is June 20th through June 23rd and it will be at Greenville High School. And we will send out more information to those specific teachers later. If you are your two science, the training is June 20th and June 21st. Year one math training will be June 20th. And year two math, it's TNTP math will be June 21st. Also, if you have new admin at your school, there will be a required in-person training June 22nd, and it's all at Greenville High School. Does anybody have any questions about that? Um, yeah, Prashay, you said the June 20th through the 23rd at Greenville High was for the first year mm -hmm. um, TNTP? Science. Okay, TNTP, just science. Just science, yes. Okay, and then, so the June 20th and the 21st, were those both dates for math or was one date for math and one date for science for the second year? The 20th and the 21st is year two science people. That's doing it the second time around. And then June 20th is year one math. And June 21st is year two math. And I can send this out in an email after our meeting. I just wanted you to be aware. Okay, thank you. Um, we are also having a summer institute. It's not required, but it's open to STEM teachers and leaders. It will be that Thursday at Greenville High School as well. Um, it's for professional learning opportunities to kind of learn from one another or our partners. So this was the main thing I wanted to talk about today because I wanted to get ideas from you, you guys if you had any ideas for the sessions. And I have um, a form I'm gonna put in the chat to kind of capture that if you have any ideas work you've done with the partners, any success stories, anything like that. Does anybody have any ideas in their mind right now off the cup? I know we have some teachers that are presenting at NSTA to talk about their implementation with Open Syed. And I think that would be a good one. Um, the different way of teaching that to their students. Will anybody else be doing summer school during that time? You will, Talitha? We will have some teachers. Are, are you talking about the June dates? Yeah. Yeah, we will have some teachers who will be out and unable to attend. Okay. I know with the science, there's an online opportunity to do that training. 
Okay. But I've heard it's six hours straight. So it's not, it's better to go in person, but it is possible to do it online. Yes. I think I, they did that last year when they weren't able to come go in person. And I'm not sure about the math. I'll have to ask on that one. Which day is the last day of summer school? I don't know who taught that. Well, I think it's the June 22nd date is the last day for Anderson County. Okay. If you guys want in that survey, there's a question for ideas, maybe put your um, summer school dates in there so I can know and capture that. But um, you can think about it and top something in later. I know it's kind of hard to think right now. It's the end of the day. Um, I will need you guys to update your spreadsheets. I have not added a column yet for the new 2023-2024 school year, but I'll add that later. And once you guys get partnered, you can add who you're partnered with. Okay, you don't know about summer school. Do you know when you will know, Shelly? Um, I mean, I could ask her the last time I spoke with her, they really weren't for sure what's going to look like at the high school level because they're funneling a lot of money into the third grade mm -hmm. based on the new third grade reading standard. And so she doesn't, I don't know if she, I would just have to ask her to see if they've got a plan in motion yet for the high school. Um, cause I, I really, I'm assuming the dates would be around the same for everybody else that, you know, everybody else said, cause that runs about the same we did last year. Um, the first four weeks of June there. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, they haven't said anything else about what it's going to look like yet at all that I know of. Okay, well, just let me know whenever you find out. Um, it's not required to come on that Thursday, but we do have a 150 person cap on it. So I will be sending out registration at some point. I just wanted to put it on your all's calendar. Um, did you guys get my email about the ETSU courses? They're having information sessions tomorrow. Um, the dual enrollment's at 4 and the other classes at 4.30 or information sessions at 4.30. Um, if you all want to forward that to your counselors or do you have any questions about it? Okay. What else? I think I went through everything. Do you have any questions about your partnerships? Any concerns? Okay. Well, if I can I can I ask one? Yep. Did um has, um so my math teachers have the statistics with an R. Has anybody else's math teachers mentioned just about like I don't know how like too high level that is. Uh, is it, or is anybody else's math teachers even doing that? I don't know if anybody, nobody. So my math teachers were just concerned. Even the training, they sat through and listened to the whole entire training video. Mm -hmm. And um, she was just like, the guy just assumed that he was talking to people who knew how to code. And they just got lost in all of the things he was talking about. Um because it was it wasn't really geared maybe toward math as much as it was just assuming that these math teachers all knew everything about coding and he just kind of just started going and she said they all just got lost and it just it, from the get go um, she said she really had felt like it needed to be more at a beginner level and like how they could implement this into this to their math and she said she could gather some information about how you know, statistics with an R and how this program lines up with statistics maybe, but it was just really like, hey, I can only just tell my kids about this in class. There was no way that 
she could even begin to even, it would just been like a, a blurt of, hey, we use coding is used in statistics. That's all she felt like she really gleaned from it. Well, I think they've revamped that because they're not even calling it statistics with R. Like that's not even the title anymore. Okay. Um, okay. You may want to attend the information session and see the changes. I'm going to try to be there. It's at four. I know it's kind of late, but I would like so, to learn more about it. So when you say the info sessions, but that's for the dual courses, right? When you said the info sessions for ETSU at four and four thirty, did you say that was for the dual courses? Yeah, that's the dual enrollment province stats. Well, so now the statistics with an R was one of the partnerships that my math teachers went to the training for in the summer. Yeah, that's through ETSU. Right, but that was not a dual class. Okay. Well, maybe in my mind I'm getting mixed up. I will give them that feedback though. I will okay. email I will I will email a knot on that. Okay. Okay. And maybe maybe my math teachers are I know it's not a dual class. Like I know it was the partnership that they trained for this past summer and they called it statistics with an R is what she spoke to me about. Um, but she just said it was just way too high level and that the the guy just started talking and assumed that they all knew coding at that, you know, at a college level, or they could sit down at a computer and code. And he, she felt like he maybe just didn't understand that he was speaking to math teachers that didn't have anything to do with, you know, and that they were just trying to figure out how they could implement this in with their statistics class. And it was way too high level. That's good to know. I'm glad you're telling me this. Uh, Talitha, the spreadsheet, I will look at yours and I will try to fix that. 